Hello, my name is Martin. I'm going to show you a really cool live chat application that I wrote in Java. The server is written in Java WE7. I'm not using any frameworks on top of that, like Spring or Play. The front-end client, which you are about to see soon, has been written in Java FX. And the web client is, well, uh, written in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, of course. The application is deployed on my own website, so you can go to martinandersson.com uh, and have a chat with me. Like so. Hi, you. I'm going to show you how everything looks behind the scene, from my point of view, on the other end, behind the website. I will focus on two features of my application. Uh, one being live feed typing. My visitor and I, we see what each other type when we type it in real time. So we're more like having a conversation with, with each other than a chat. Also, my software has a built-in queue system, meaning that if a visitor wants to have a chat with me, but I am not online or available, then he'll, put, he'll be put in a queue until I am available. Then we'll be hooked up with each other. So the first thing that I need to do is to open my front end client and uh, log into the server. This application right here is written in JavaFX. I need to supply my credentials and then sign in. Once I've done that, I see my display name here, I see my status, which is currently online, and I see a list of conversations, which I don't have any right now. We will fix that shortly. I'm going to mark my window to always be on top so that it doesn't go away anywhere during this session. And uh, let's pretend that I am a visitor that will go online and have a chat with me. Now. This is the web client. It is written in TypeScript, which compiles down to JavaScript. That is really cool. This web client is embedded on my own site at the moment. So I'm going to open up that. Like so. Now, this guy over here on the left hand side is a stranger that wants to have a chat with me. I am this guy over here on the right hand side that um, well supposedly is located on another machine and uh, not right now though just to be honest with each other. Let's have a chat with myself and see what happens. And uh, I see a notification that a new conversation has been initiated. I also see his conversation added to the list of conversations over here. If I double click on that node, I open up a window with our conversation, which is empty right now. I'm going to hide away this panel. We will return to that shortly. I'm going to type in a message in this box. While I do that, please have your focus on this box instead and see what happens. Hello, sir. I have a question for you. I see what he type when he type it. And, the ad and it goes the other way around too. Okay, what is it? So that is really cool. That is a feature which I call live feeding. And it can be turned on and off at any moment's time. For example, Suppose we have a message ongoing, which I see over here. And let's turn the live feed off and continue this message. Now this guy over here, he doesn't see what I just typed because he doesn't live feed anymore. He only see that once I hit enter and send a message. Now he see an updated view of the message. This guy is not live feeding right now. What I type is not sent. 
and um, this guy over here he doesn't see nothing he well sorry he sees nothing now what happens if I turn live feed back on again I do see an update over here uh, let's remove cut a big portion of the message right in the middle and see what happens like so it is removed let's paste it in the beginning it's added back let's turn off the live feed and remove the message and uh, type in something else and send that it is updated whatever I do back and forth the messages are as consistent as they can be when this guy let's turn back on live feeding here when this guy types something something to me something to me I see a counter of all the messages that I haven't read so far actually it is these two messages that I haven't read so far because I haven't focused my window yet as soon as I do that this counter goes away that's quite cool if I close this window then this conversation is still ongoing this is an unread message in order to get that I need to double click and open the conversation again it is not removed it doesn't go away it's still alive now what happens if this guy wants to change his nickname to something else let's call him John his name is changed over here on each message that he has written so far and uh, I get a cute notification about it over here his name is updated on all his messages as well the window title is updated and the conversation title is updated I also have a list of all the participants in this conversation and he's updated there as well if I want to change my nickname I really only change it right here to something else but I kind of like Martin so I'm not gonna change that right now the keyboard on the web client it auto sizes when he add new lines line 1 line 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so forth until it doesn't resize anymore I call that auto size now if he doesn't like that he can turn off auto size and change his size manually this is a really large keyboard gonna turn that back on again thank you let's add another guy to my list of conversations hello I am someone else there we have him like so uh, you alive yes uh, I'm quite busy now right I can't handle two persons at the same time well yes I can but I couldn't handle a third person so what do I do I mark myself as being busy these conversations right here they live on am I alive yes okay uh, but what happens when a third person want to have a chat with me let's find that out 
he's put in a queue. And he currently has position number one because there are no one else ahead of him. Let's bring yet another guy into the queue. Now we have two persons in the queue here. And let's bring in another guy. Three persons in the queue. One, two, and three. I am the only one online currently that represent myself on my website. I could perhaps have a coworker uh, that was online. If so, then these guys over here, they wouldn't be put in a queue. They would be uh, hooked up with my coworker instead. But currently, I am the only resource that someone may have a chat with that represents my site and I am busy so they are put in a queue what happens if one guy dropped from the queue well let's find that out these over here are automatically updated in real time he's uh, in position number one and this guy is in position number two They will remain in the queue until they drop or until a resource become available again. So let's mark myself as online. There you go. They are instantly hooked up with me as soon as I get my ass back online. Hi, finally. Been waiting. That's cool. All right, so that was about it, what I had in mind of showing you today. Thank you. It has been a pleasure.